G'day ladies. So this week we're working on um, product study one. So we're doing the, the beef um, as our product and we're going through a whole range of activities to, to look at that um, as a total. Now, <clears throat> excuse me. So I'm just going to go through this. Um, I think that we should be able to get um, two or three dot points done uh, week one. Um, it's going to be a bit of a push, but please give me some uh, feedback with our timings. Um, I, I think we should be right to get this done. So we'll see how we go. Right now, so farm product study. Let's have a look. So for this dot point, you'll need to understand the statistics statistical and economic importance of both agriculture in the Australian economy and the place of farms within the ag sector. We'll look at the impact of agriculture has on the local community, who and how many people employs and the services that, it, that the farms need to operate. Okay, so uh, your textbook is really good for, for this um, dot point. So all of this is straight out of the, the textbook. Um, pages uh, up here, so page 43 to 46, basic summary skills. So summarise below the information under the heading agriculture in the economy um, from the textbook. So ag has traditionally been significantly important to the Australian economy. Due to our significant sheep production in the early 1900s, uh, Australia was said to be riding on the sheep's back. Australia's average uh, ag is worth 50 billion, um, that's our farm gate price. Once processing and valuating occurs, um, it increases to 155 billion, uh, which is about 12% of the, the economy. Two thirds of the Australian agricultural produce is exported. Um, Australia produces 2.3% of the world's ag exports. Um, Australian ag can feed 60 million people, um, in a good year with a population of 24 million, uh, that leads to a significant amount of exports. So we've got a little graph here. This is straight out of your ag textbook. Um, so what is the percentage of the Australian economy is agriculture. So we're here. So that works out at about two and a half percent. Um, how has this changed? Um, since 100 years ago. So percentage-wise, it's dropped a lot. Um, but that is simply, so we're down here to Y now. So it, the percentage has dropped, but that is because all of these other industries have increased, okay? So the percentage has um, dropped significantly, even though our agricultural produce has increased exponentially. So we're producing more now than what we ever have. It's just that the other industries have all increased a lot more. Okay, so we've got this graph up the top here. This graph, um, now the graph shows exports from Australian primary industries, ag, fishery, fishing, Wrap. Hang on. Um, this graph shows exports from Australian primary industries. Give two more reasons why I think this might fluctuate from year to year and explain why you think this is. So reason one would be climatic conditions. So drought, lack of water, lack of produce. Reason two, um, increased dollars. So market price. So if a commodity like beef or wheat changes, this will increase or decrease the amount of sales. Okay. So if there's not much money in wheat, no one plants it. So you don't have the exports for it. So we have fluctuations from climate and then we have markets. Uh, using the area below and table 3.2 of page 44 of the textbook graph 
the top eight exports in terms of their value. So let's have a look at that. So wheat is the, the biggest beef, then cotton, wool, um, meat, um, excluding beef, so sheep, um, wine, oil seeds, barley. Okay, and that's billion dollars up on the side. Okay, so farms in Australia. Um, so this is straight out of your textbook again. So farms account for 51% of the land mass in Australia and 52% of the water usage. Farms vary in size from um, five hectare nurseries near cities up to 20,000 hectares uh, in South Australia, Queensland, Northern Territory and bigger than that. Um, amalgamations, so we know what an amalgamation is. So that's when farms um, accumulate the smaller farms around them. So that means that we have less farms, but they're bigger. 88% um, of ag land is used for grazing. So think of all that Western New South Wales, um, inland Australia, all of that is not suitable due to rainfall um, for cropping. So it's all grazing. 5% of corporate farms. Um, so, sorry, 88% is used for grazing. Majority of the farms are family farms, 90% 90 and 5% of corporate farms. Most production comes from family farms. So let's have a look here at our number of farms. Right here. So this is straight out of your textbook. The graph on the right, um, shows the area of Australia devoted to farms over the past 20 years. So that we have had a slight decline in the size of our farms. Um, so land degradation is, has caused that, that decline, this decline. So when land um, is degraded through salinity, um, it can no longer go into production. So we do have a degradation problem. Um, what does this mean? that we need to do with an increasing population. So we need to become more efficient in using land to produce more per hectare, increase land area uh, by solving our degradation issues such as salinity and soil erosion. Okay, impact of ag on local community. Um, let me just zoom in. So this is page 47. So Farmers buy goods and services from the local community. Uh, this leads to development of towns and local communities, including agribusinesses such as banks, butchers, etc. So an agribusiness is just a any business that gets money from agriculture. Um, so that was economic impact, ecological impact. Poor farm practices can affect the environment, such as um, spray drift. We've talked about that in the cotton industry and the deterioration of soil qualities, such as salinity and erosion. Agriculture as a consumer. So consumer, uh, people like you and I, we we're buying agricultural produce to eat, um, food and fiber. Agriculture and farms consume um, goods and services uh, which keeps these communities functioning. Farms purchase land, labour, fertiliser, water, electricity, chemicals and machinery. Farm workers also purchase um, food, cars, clothes, entertainment, holidays, etc. The rural workforce. So reduced from 400,000 in 1996 to 230,000 in 2013. Um, through this time, we have increased our production also. So this is caused by an increase in automation. So basically, we are able to do more with machines rather than just relying on manual labour. Um, farm dependent economy, the flow on employment in other agribusinesses employs over 1.6 million people. Increased cost of labour in Australia has led to a decrease of on-farm employment and therefore an increase in mechanisation. Um, so basically labour is really expensive so we develop machines to, to do that work for us. Um, there's been a steady drift of people from rural areas to cities.
Okay, the graph on the right shows the change in average age of farmers over the past 40 years. So we can see that our average age has increased and it's actually going down a bit, our average age, because the farmers um, at the, the older end, they're retiring. So they're giving that to their sons and their daughters. So we've got our average age is dropping um, down below 50 at the moment. Okay, so there, let's have a look at our questions. What changes do you notice? There's significant increase in average age of farmers. Uh, so they're getting older. What do you think, that, why do you think there's been a change? So the high cost, cost of getting into farming. So basically there's a big barrier. Um, well, there's a reason why I'm not farming and that's because I couldn't um, buy a farm. It's too expensive, land's very expensive. Um, and unless someone was going to give me a farm, that isn't going to happen. Um, so high cost to get into farming. Um, and then farmers are retiring later, so they're working for longer. Um, what are the problems with this? So older farmers tend to be less willing to try out new technologies. So technological advances aren't flowing into a lot of farms, um, which leads to, to inefficiencies. Right, so we've got a couple of questions here and that is us done. So that is PS1.